Welcome. Welcome to the second annual Spirit Island Mega Game. This is the first Mega Game of this of, of three for this convention. Uh, I am Christopher Bedell. This is Nick. Say hi, Nick. Hello. And we are very excited, along with all these fantastic facilitators, to bring this game to life. You are all playing a game of Spirit Island on these eight different islets. However, there's one invader board up here that is shared across all of you. You all win together or you all lose together. The blight pool for this entire game uses one shared blight pool of 65 blight. You run out of 65 blight and then this card flips. 65, that's a ton. We'll never get anywhere near that. That's what they all say. When some of you clear off and completely defeat your islet, you will move on to another island. So, because we're playing against Brandenburg Prussia level two, there's an extra town in every land three. It's gonna be a little harder than playing a base game of Spirit Island. Yeah. But we believe in you. We do believe in you. Uh, well, we do need to do the initial explore. The initial explore, that's right. Do you know what it is? I do, let me update on. Here it comes, the explore in the mountains. mountains there we go. Uh, so every mountain that has a source of explorers, which all of them. is all, it's of, all them. of them, it's all of them, uh, gets an explorer. For spirit phase on turn one, the timer has begun. You have five minutes counting down. All right, so we got uh, 17 fear for this first fast phase. Oh, it's, it's, the numbers are going to get way bigger later. All right, go ahead and start your second spirit phase. And facilitators, we're now at the point where you might actually be recording fear and blight in the spirit phase. Wildfire's out there somewhere. Yeah, no way. We, yep, yeah. <laughs> They're ready. So go ahead, go ahead and now for this spirit phase, actually give me fear and blight totals when you report in. The question is, do they generate blight faster this round than they remove blight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no question. No question. We have never had a round where the group as a whole... Yeah. But that'd be cool. It would be cool. That'd be really It'd cool. Be cool. Yeah. But. All right. With all of the spirits having completed their spirit phases, it is now time to move on to the fast power phase. You have five minutes to use those fast powers you programmed during your spirit phase. The time is now. All of the tables have finished, which means it's time to move on to the invader phase. That means we get an event. We made it another third of the way. Oh, look at that. We only have 40 fear left. That's yeah, great. Yeah, we might have, I think we'll actually get it. Interesting discoveries is the event. So on each board, you're going to choose a sacred site and you're gonna gather one explorer into the land with that sacred site, and then add another explorer to that land. All right, all tables have completed their ravages and their builds, well done, everybody. Uh, but we're about to explore, and we're gonna explore somewhere. Where's it gonna be? These screens will tell us we've built in the wetlands. We, before that, we ravaged in the mountains, but now we explore into sands, into the sands. So add an explorer into each sand land that has an adjacent source of explorers. Why does it say 10 fear left? Uh, because everyone is awesome in the invader phase. The, the, they, they've earned 118 fear already? Yeah. This is this is only round two, right? Yeah. Okay, so they've there's 10 fear left. So during this the four minutes they have left in the slow power phase, if they can get 10 fear, they'll definitely get at least one fear card next turn. Do you think they get two before the next invader phase? <laughs> uh... Pro right. pro probably not. Probably not. We'll, we'll see. It's right on the edge. I'm, I'm very impressed. At the end of the slow power phase, let's update that board state. There was 10 fear left and 118 fear earned and 54 uh, blight in the blight pool. Okay, so the blight pool went up to 56 um, and there's 102 fear left. Anyway, it's now time for the spirit phase. We've generated a bunch of fear. The blight pool is still at 55. It's very healthy. And we have an event sprawl contained by the wilds because the land is still healthy. On each board, we're going to add our wilds to a land without invaders. Table number one has one of their boards 
that has no buildings on it. And so they get the free wilds, but they don't get the free build. That's pretty cool. The explorers blunder on each board. Do you have beasts? We're going to destroy two explorers among lands with beasts. This does not have to be in one land. This can be in multiple lands. So during this round's ravage, which is happening in mere moments, the Dahan is going to deal damage at the same time as the invaders instead of counterattacking. Usually, the invaders attack, the Dahan take damage at the same time as the land, and then after all of that resolves, the Dahan counterattack. Instead, right now, when we ravage, the Dahan are going to counterattack at the same time before they die. There it is. All right, each player, every single player in this room, all 32 of you, may gather one town into a coastal land. All right, we are ready for explore. Hopefully you've cleared off enough buildings, laid your wild traps to explore in the mountains and the wetlands simultaneously. Brandon from Prussia is not messing around. I do have the event card oh, up yeah. here, so I will just yeah. say what it is. Uh, so, Prey on the Unwary, each beast destroys an explorer. Each beast destroys every, beast, every, every beast. Every single beast destroys, destroys an, explorer. an explorer. And then, and then, on each of your islets, you get to add a beast to a board that does not have any beasts. How many phase two cards do we have left? One, two? Two more in the deck. Two more. We got the fear rolling in for this round. They might, because the thing is this trick, if they can hit that second fear card, the, uh, having a two tear, two tear level two fear cards. It's huge. Yeah, this is gonna make a big swing. The event's coming up here. Yeah, it's gonna be a spicy one. Yeah, it's a spicy event. We know what the event is. We flipped it already. Yeah. We, like, the, the events are. But we'll see what happens. You can't listen to this. I'm talking to Trevor. For all you listening at home, all you watching the afterplay videos, I don't know. All you sports fans out there. Um, sports Island. <laughs> all right. Uh, table one, the, the spirits of pilot one might be about to go on a journey. Now, facilitators, if you have your blight and fear totals, I will take them early so yeah. we can see if we get that extra fear card. Yeah, we're close enough. It's worth doing. Okay, 31 fear and minus one blight at table five. So before I update everything, I, I just want to say you all got 229 fear that turn that round yeah and had a net minus 21 blight on the board so would you say we're at tier level three or at tier level three and is it the end of the round it's the end of the, of the turn so yeah what this means yeah is if your board's in a state where you would win at tier level two if your islet would be like oh you know we got rid of all the towns and the cities well, you have saved your islet. Islet one has no towns or cities on it. Orange player, you're going to islet eight. All right, you're going all the way down there. All right, go ahead and, and you can pick any of the boards to set up on over there. If you need a chair, we've got extra chairs over here in the back. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, just so you have some awareness, table five? Is this table five? Table five seems to have very few buildings, and those buildings are all in direct threat. Uh, during the fast phase. So you're saying another transfer is imminent? Yeah, yeah, like incredibly so. Good job, everybody. We sped through that fast power phase. 33 Blight. We went up three, and another. we have two fear cards. At uh, which terror level? Two terror level three fear cards. All right, all right, okay, okay. And what is the victory condition right now? Victory condition is no city. No cities in any in island. Any island. All right. Next fear card. What's Tall Tales of Savagery. Tall Tales of In each land with the Han, 
remove two, remove two explorers or one town. So you're not going to generate any fear for this, but you just get rid of stuff. Facilitators, how many cities we got left? Russ, zero cities, one city. How many cities do we have over here? Zero cities, one cities. Zero cities. N Those are two different. Seven cities. So even beyond the cities though, there's only 108 fear left for the entire game. Oh, for the entire game. For the entire game. If they can earn 108 they can, fear, oh, they win a outright. Fear victory, a fear victory. Mega event fear victory. We're so close to it. If one, two, three, four, five, six of the six remaining islands can generate 108 fear, you get a fear victory right dang now. So far in the game, the most fear they've generated going into the invader phase in a single turn has been 107. But they've beat their records before. They beat the records before. And if they beat it by one. If they beat it by one, they win outright before we get to the event. And if they don't, it'll they'll have like such a small number of fear. We should Oh, they're it. totally we gonna should. win the slow phase at that point. Oh, my question is we should count it the event, we should count the fear card like Oh yes. Like let's let's we'll go card by card at that point because it could happen. It could totally if happen. If they win halfway through the event, I want that happening, right? That's amazing. Yep. Fear victory. Okay. What do you, what do you think over under fear victory likely? Oh. <laughs> the, I, the, I, I think it's going to happen. Well. I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. I think they could do it. Okay. All right. Table eight. Table 8 claims that they will retake the crown. And with these numbers, if Table 8 beats your guys' numbers, that's that's that. Islet 8 with 47 fear in the fast phase. Well, so we got 18 from Table 7. We got 21 from Table 4. We got 15 from Table 3, and then coming in clutch. Clutch, strong, crucial, powerful, beautiful. Table two, one fear. Which honestly, at this stage of the game, is very challenging to do one fear. <laughs> they only had two towns left, and those towns. Wait, did, did you not kill both the towns? You downgraded the town! <laughs> but it means we win! So we so passed it by 31. A, a fear victory. Well done. Well done. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here for the second annual. This is the second second annual Spirit Island Mega Event. We ran one this morning, so that this morning's was the first second Spirit Island Mega Event. Yep, and this is the second second one. Tomorrow we'll do the third second annual Spirit Island Mega Event. All right, so we start off with a random level one card to begin our initial setup explore, and that card is a card that says on it a land type and that land type is one of the four land types on your board in front of you and you will know that land type when it shows up on the explore slot telling you which land type it's mountains it's mountains mountains is the setup explore explore into mountains to finish setup and then do your spirit phase We've all now at each table seen how spear phase goes, how the fast phase goes, how the invader phase goes, although the invader phase will evolve a bit over the course of the game, given events and given fear cards. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, deck shuffles. Oh, go sure. Then. Last one was some pretty fear-heavy events. There was, there was, the events definitely had a part of it. So the what events come out really changes the game. But one thing that we do, it is a random event thing. We do know that they are different events in the last game. So yep. No duplicates. Yep. Welcome to the Spirit Island Mega Game, Advanced Mode, Expert, High Danger. Do you think you're going to win? Yeah! 
That's the confidence I want to hear. You're going to need that confidence, all your experience, all your skill. This island, this archipelago of islands, in the last 36 hours, has experienced so much turmoil. It's been terrible. There was a game yesterday where a bunch of invaders showed up across these islands and the spirits had to band together and drive them off, but they were too strong. The invaders were far too strong. They could not be driven off the island except even though they dug in and their numbers were overwhelming, it didn't matter. They were terrified. Before we got anywhere close to any sort of victory through murder or any other option, nope, fear victory, uh, and, and earlier than we expected, more decisive than we expected. Massive numbers fear victory in the first game. Very thrilling. Second game. The invaders are back. They were mad. And they put up a good fight. It got real close. A couple of tables had a couple of scares where it was like, is this the end? It wasn't, but it was real close. 16 blight in one turn happened over here. Yeah, just on one of the many islets. It was very bad. Very bad. Um, but yeah. Uh, that game technically ended in a fear victory by just one fear, um, but it was really down to the wire. It was it was quite an exciting time. Um, and it, actually, if they hadn't got that fear victory, they might have timed out. The invader deck might have run out. That's what they were. That's what they were in danger of. But they got it. They got it nonetheless. Uh, but those were both Brandenburg Prussia games at difficulty level two. This is a Sweden game at level five. Uh, no double adversaries. I know somebody asked about that. No, 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 no. Nothing that, nothing that ridiculous. Beat this game easily and we'll give you a double adversary next year, okay? When that timer counts down to zero. Yesterday, when that timer counted down to zero, we'd be like, hey, how are things going? Right, like it's zero right now. Hey, yeah, how's things going? Are you guys doing all right? Listen, this is the expert game. You've all played before. You've all played the spirit you're playing before. You know what you're doing. When the timer hits zero, we are moving to the next phase. During the spirit phase, during the fast power phase, and during the slow power phase, you will have six minutes to do all your things. This is plenty of time. You can do it. Let's get that first explore card. They explore their initial explore is into the mountains. Then the other part of setup, we have the Sweden setup. Sweden gets its extra card. It is sands. So on each board, find the sands with the fewest invaders and add a town. We're about to begin the first spirit phase. Here we go. It's spirit phase. Grow like your island depends upon it. be curious uh, what's happening at table six and I can tell you what's happening at table six at table six they're considering murdering all their Dahan so as to avoid the escalation that does really determine the direction the rest of the game is gonna go yes on that table yeah yeah so we started off with a blight pool of 65 blight and a fear pool of 128 fear we lost only one Blight. First turn only cost us one Blight from the pool. And we generated 48 Fear in the first turn. That is more of a third of what's necessary for a card. And that was only the first turn. The first turn, when, before you've really unlocked all your best stuff, you're already getting 48 Fear? All right, all right, this group's ready. Oh man, we've got such a fun thematic group at this table. We're gonna have a just big old monster stomping around. You're gonna be screaming at them, burning. You're, who knows what's gonna happen with you? It's gonna be great. This is fun. Nick, I was wandering by table six and I heard one of them say, oh, you know, it's kind of ironic, but it'd be good to have the Dahan there now. Top choices. <laughs> <laughs> we lost another couple of blight, but not bad. So we are only 40 fear away from a card. So it seems like between this turn's slow phase and next turn's fast phase, we're gonna get it. But for now, it's time for the first event of the game. And it's a terrible one. Wounded lands attract explorers. On each board, you're gonna add an explorer to a land with blight. Now remember, when ravaging, if you do six or more damage, you add a second blight. And also remember that cities do five damage and towns do three damage. I will add that extra town can't go to a land that already has towns or cities. Oh, okay. This is a way they gotta get into new places. Mountains again. It's a random shuffle. 
unless the Dahan outnumber the invaders after the Explorer, one of those Dahan decides to join Sweden and becomes a town. Oof. The Blight Pool, up to this point, and by up to this point, I mean up to the beginning of the invader phase, has been pretty mild. Barely touched at all. But yeah. This, but this was our first Ravage. Yeah, we're about to update that, and they took a little bit of Blight. Did they take more than 20 Blight? They were barely under 20. Okay, that's good. barely, you know, it's not yeah. bad. It's not bad. Okay, yeah. all right. They're going to go ahead and definitely hit a Fear card this During slow the phase. slow phase, yeah. Oh, totally. Excellent, excellent. Okay, cool. There we go. There we go. So we wrapped around, so we have 112 fear in the pool left. But we've got a fear card. We've got our first chair level one fear card. And that is going to be very helpful, I imagine. Sure, we got a lot of blight last Ravage phase, and we're probably going to get some blight this Ravage phase. But it's good to be able to put some blight back, especially during the spirit phase. Uh, Islet 5's a little ahead. <laughs> As a reminder, if you get to the end of the time on any phase, anything you haven't done just doesn't happen. It doesn't go, you're out of time, you're out of luck. So we gotta try to stay on top of it. I think that for a group of less hardcore players, there are people who'd be scared of that Ravage. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But with this group... They're ready for the Ravage. They had a plan. Yeah, yeah, they're like, oh, they you're knew gonna, what they were doing. They're going to Ravage lands. in a place where we already got it covered. Cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Nice. Because hardworking settlers can hit hard with Sweden because you can get those double blights. But if you have a plan for it... Yeah, plan for it. All right. Are we, we're ready. We're ready. Okay, let's move on. The beasts are going to prey on the injured. Beasts count as Badlands. For the rest of this turn, beasts are Badlands. All right. We have a really lucky pull here against Sweden. <laughs> All right. Panicked by Wild Beasts. Each player adds a Strife in a land with or adjacent to Beasts. So those beasts are doing a lot of work this round. Even though I knew what the deck was ahead of time, because I saw what the shuffle was. Right, right, like, right. I was like, oh, right. They've got a really good first fear card. Yeah. This is the thing. Early fear cards are sometimes hit and miss, or sometimes like, oh, that's helpful. But this is like a, oh, no, that's just, that. that, that is going to be, that is going to solve some problems now, and it's going to create some situations, uh, some advantages for later. So. Yeah, Strife is just such a good option against yeah. Sweden. Christopher, you had to step out there for a sec. Just Do for a you think they got the 57 fear? No, there's no way. There's no way while I was gone. I had to refill my water. I'm 57 fear. That's too much to get in a single round or a single phase. The slow power phase, no. They got maybe half that. They got oh. exactly 57. Oh. <laughs> On each board, we're going to choose a land with buildings and ravage there. How bad could a single town be? Three damage because it's Sweden. Turn three. Yeah. They had a net of three blind. I was like, oh. Okay. Oh, oh, they're doing really well. They've Maybe this game, will, this, this game will might wrap up way faster than I thought it would. That'd be cool. We're going to probably double the amount of added blight this oh, turn. Oh, just you wait. Just you wait. I have seen the future and what it holds. time to explore and we are going to explore into you know what i'm tired of escalations coastal lands here's a fun thing i just watched happen i want to compare this game to yesterday's games yesterday's games coastal lands would come up and the tables would be like no coastal lands shoot what are we gonna do i just watched several tables be like coastal lands yes yes coastal lands I'm like yep yep that is the difference between regular and advanced spirit island <laughs> So, do you think they're going to flip next turn? The question is not whether they flip next turn. They're going to flip next turn. That's what I think. The question is, do they flip before the invader phase next turn? Oh, that is actually quite possible. I know. That's what I'm saying. Between this slow phase, the next spear phase, and the next fast phase, it could happen. It was actually kind of interesting that the, the, our first game yeah. opened everybody they left behind the low complexity spirits and took all the high complexity stuff. It's true, it's true. Now that we've got some experts, 
They left. They left. They left the, behind some actually some of the higher complexity spirits. Th they left behind a moderate, a very high, and a low. But the low they left behind is the low complexity spirit, which is it's low complexity to play, but it's at least moderate complexity to play well. This is what one, two, three cities. One, two, three, four, five, six towns. A big important thing is maybe about to happen. Did the island blight during the fast hour phase? No, there was a net zero amount of blight added. Okay, all right, that's good, that's good. That's what you want, I mean, that or better, but I'll take zero. Okay, pretty good. Table two is making some good work here. Once we get to tier level two, you guys might have a shot of vacating your island. We haven't been getting as much fear this time as in the previous games. Yeah, it's true. The Swedes are not scared. Yeah, they really aren't. We have gone really far into this game and still at Terra Level 1. We're only going to be at Terra Level 1 for one more phase. They're going to put up 12 fear slow. Oh, totally. No problem. They, I don't think they can put up another 120 plus fast, though. But maybe I'm just a doubter. Oh, spread of ramp, uh, spread of rampant greens. I begin to understand what's happening. There's two scary plants over here, and oh no, no, no! There's three scary plants. Whether or not you're the plants or the eyes within them, and then a cat. Man, I want to live on this island. Scary plants, a cat. That's everything you could want in life. I think they'll get two fear cards, two terror level two fear cards right off the bat like that. That's going to be huge, especially going into uh, stage three for the invader cards. And they might really need it because. They've got that Coastal Lands Ravage this turn. <laughs> the Coastal Lands Ravage. I hope you guys are ready for Coastal Lands Ravage. Oh, okay. So what they're telling me is they have a board that's cleared. And they're like, oh, the spirit, that's that starting board? We're willing to let them on, them go. We're willing. We're just, we say, Heart of the Wildfire, you can go. We're done with you, Heart of the Wildfire. You've been so helpful, but what if you went and terrorized, I mean, helped out some other island? All right, so every oh. islet has reported in. Oh, okay, okay, I'm just wasting time here. I'm so excited about the game state. So here's the question. Did we flip the blight card? Right. And did we earn another fear card? Before we know if we did that, I gotta tell you. Table three put up two blight, and not in the good way. They used two blight. So we know, I know, the only table that I saw there was a report from Table 3, so I know that there is one Blight left in the pool unless other tables... I mean, let's see. What do they do? What, how'd it go? No. <laughs> so there's only one Blight left, and you did earn another Fear card. Table 2 has had but somewhere between a third and a half of their whole islet clean for several rounds. Like, they've just been on top of it. Between Keeper, co-figure, and Spread of Green, they're just like, this section of the board is quiet. We're fighting on this section, and this section is just, we don't have to deal with it. So they've been playing on half an island. Table 3 has been very aggressive, but surprisingly keeping it in control. Um, and so stuff on their tables hurt. Table 6 has this... You remember how they like the Dahan were in danger on Table 6? The Dahan almost all, all got murdered? No, they've got this mecha where all the Dahan are just in a giant pile, and there's a land that's so full of Dahan that if you try to put an, uh, an invader in there, you couldn't, but it doesn't matter. No invaders go there. Just all the Dahan are like, hey, we're here, we're safe. There are so many boards that have no cities. I've seen them over there. I bet you this board's got... You guys got to have at least one board. You have one, you have one city. There's one city here. And surely, surely there'll be no problems with one of the islets having a ton of blight. And a bunch of cities. Yeah, that's... There's no way that there's some islet here that has so much blight and so many Oh my god. Okay, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Six blight. That's fine. There's so much. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Nick, I have good news and I have bad news. All right. What order do you want them? I'm a bad news first kind of person. Oh, you're going to love this. We did not make this game hard enough. We could have seen so much more gnashing of teeth, way more torment. We could have made this way worse. These, these people are too good for us. They deserve better, and they'll get better for us in the future. But for now, the good news is Table 3 is going to clean during the fast phase. They can't not. Table 2 is going to clean, I think, during the slow phase is my guess. Table 4, 
I don't know. You think you, you think you got it this round? Oh, a calculator app has been pulled out for the fear on Islet 8. <laughs> so we are officially in terror level 3. So, explorers no longer ta stop transfers. Which islets have now cleared all of their towns and cities? Nick, uh, I'm going to go sequentially here. Islet 4 has officially won. Islet 4 has only one explorer on it and some in some weird dark place. Don't worry about it. All right. Islet 4 on the board. I, I have just received confirmation that Islet 5 oh. has pulled off a transfer victory. Woo. Yeah. Yes, they did. Oh, my gosh. They certainly did. So when I said most people are probably going to go to 8, we don't, have to, we don't need a spreadsheet for this. There's only... Everyone goes to eight. Everybody goes to table eight. So now, you can start getting prepped to move, but table eight is still finishing off this round. So let them finish their stuff. They have another three and a half minutes to do so. But get ready to hit that table with the... I'm sorry, what? Ah, and in fact, without even more assistance, we have a victory. <laughs> It did go to the fast phase. Thank you all so much for playing in our first ever expert level Spirit Island Mega Event. Don't worry. If the, the next time we do a Spirit Island expert level Mega Event, it will be harder than this one. You've proven to us that you need more of a challenge, and you will get it. You're going to get it.